Bill Shorten has confirmed he won't form a formal partnership with the Greens to deal with climate change should Labor win the May 18 poll. The Labor leader has also accused the Liberal Party of dealing with right-wing extremists. Our political reporter Henry Bello is travelling with the opposition leader. Bill Shorten has made a quick trip to Adelaide where he's selling federal Labor's climate change policies in this state, including a bid to transform the once industrial heartland of the Spencer Gulf into a renewable energy hub. The people of Australia are over excuses and delay and distraction on taking real action on climate change. The Labor leader won't spend the entire day here in Adelaide and that's partly because there are not many seats in South Australia that the Labor Party is pouring resources and time into. Mr Shorten has also confirmed that he won't strike a power sharing agreement with the Greens should he win the May 18 poll. Well I see that the Greens are sort of trailing their coat and say look at me. The fact of the matter is that if we get elected we'll be making decisions in a Labor cabinet and the decisions will be made by members, parliament, members of parliament of the Labor Party. Bill Shorten has welcomed the Victorian Liberal Party's decision to disendorse its candidate for Isaacs, Jeremy Hearn, who said Muslim people were not of good character, suggesting the government should stop funding Islamic schools. Goodness me, when will we finally admit what everyone actually knows? The Liberal Party is riddled with right-wing extremists. But Mr Shorten didn't see any similarities between Mr Hearn's comments and those made by Labor Party's former Senate candidate in the Northern Territory, Wayne Kernoff, who quit after sharing anti-Semitic views. There's a world of difference here. First of all, uh, this fellow who I haven't met, who was in the Northern Territory Senate ticket, uh, I don't think that what he did, anyone's contrasting with the complete Islamophobia of the Liberals, but nonetheless, not appropriate, gone. But Mr Shorten was pictured with Wayne Kernoff some years ago, although the Leader of the Opposition is no stranger to selfies with thousands of people he's not met before, and he doesn't remember the photo. From here, Bill Shorten will fly to the regional town of Wyala, where he hopes a Labor government will create thousands of jobs in the renewable energy industry.